Good boy, lay down. Lay down. Honey, go lay in the shade. You're going to knock the camera over. No, Charles, go lay down. Go lay down. Good boy. Anyway. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And if you haven't, welcome to my channel. My name is Lola and I make planty videos, sometimes other things as well. Um, I am really frustrated because I made a video for you guys the other day repotting my diaphragm back here and a tomato plant I was given. Um, and I was really proud of it, but I lost the whole thing. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that, but um, I just wanted to make up for it by making a couple videos in a row, which is what I'm going to sit down and do now. Um, so you might see me in the same kind of setting, in the same outfit for a couple videos. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today is my really big money plant that I have in my garden, which I will insert some footage of now. Um, this is also the money plant that I have tattooed here. Um, the front one anyway, there's two in there. Um, so I have gone on quite a massive journey with this money plant. It was given to me by my late grandpa um, when it was only really small. I'll try and find a photo to put in here somewhere next to me probably. Um, and it was given to me in this pot. So you can imagine it was only about that big in comparison to what it is now. Um, and it was doing okay for quite a while and my, <laughs> my dog was able to join us. Holly, no! <laughs> right, Charles, go, go lay down! Go lay down. Good boy. Okay. Um, so yeah, this plant did quite well for quite a while in my care and then um, after a while, this is a really depressing photo that I'm about to show you but it got a bit neglected. Um, and maybe this is related to the death of my grandpa on an emotional level, like the fact that I just stopped taking care of it properly, I'm not sure. Um, by the way, my dog Charlie came back, that's all. Um, you might hear him panting. But, um, Charlie, go lay in the shade, it's too hot for you. Okay, <laughs> he wants to be in the video. Um, yeah, but then uh, my mum gave it some TLC and helped me recuperate it. Um, Charlie, go lay in the shade. Go on, go lay down. Charles, go lay down. Good boy. Charlie, lay down. Okay. So, after some uh, recuperation, some TLC, it got to about this level, which I'll show you a picture of at some point. I couldn't find a picture of it at this point, so just ignore that. And after a while, during about the beginning of lockdown, um, it was doing really well outside and we decided to give it a bigger pot because we felt like it needed some more room and um, this is what it looked like when we put it in that pot and um, this is what it looks like now so it got really massive um, or that's what it looked like before I sorted it out um, so what I did was I took a lot of branches off of it and um, I kind of tied some of it up to neaten it up a bit because I felt like it was just getting too heavy for its own good. Um, so I have a lot of branches here in water and um, just to see what they would do, I don't have a big enough clear container um, but like to let light in properly but I put them in this um, silvery pot and one of them has finally grown roots you can see there it's kind of crazy so I'm gonna pop this one up and I'm gonna actually pot it in this in here which is um, the pot that the whole plant originally came in which makes me a little bit emotional not gonna lie um, just because you know this is the original pot that my grandpa gave me so I feel like it's really cute that it's kind of come full circle and I'm really excited about it um, so that's what we're gonna do today first of all I do when I pot plants is I have here a plastic container that sits in here without touching the bottom just to make sure that it's not sitting in too much water and um, considering it's not a big plant yet so if some of the roots get a bit rotten it might not work out very well for it um, so what I'm going to do first is just put some stones in the bottom to help with drainage so I'm going to go and get those okay I'm back for plants like this I generally use um, I just get like normal peat root compost from uh, usually a supermarket or a garden centre or wherever it happens to be. I'm going to take a couple out because I've put too many in here. Um, sorry. I'm going to get putting this up. 
So what I'm going to do first is just measure how much. Actually, what I'm going to do first is take off the leaves that are going to be going into the soil, um, and then hopefully roots will also grow from the nodes that I'm removing now, um, just so I can get more of it in the soil, so it's a bit sturdier. Maybe I can see if I can do anything with these leaves, but. Um, yeah, so there you go, it's a bit cleaner, you can see the roots there. Well, like, these branches are so heavy because of how big it was, it got a bit out of hand. So, I'm just going to go in and fill up the bottom with a bit of soil. Also, pro tip for when you're potting or repotting, I have um, a piece of paper that I... Uh, I usually use like a big tarp or something, my dad's using it, but I just have paper that I got some plants in recently and I just lay it out or like a newspaper or something, um, just so that wherever you're doing this doesn't get covered in mud um, or potting soil or whatever you happen to be using. Okay, so there we go, we're quite filled up there, might need to make a bit of room for this to go in. Oh my god, this is insane. Okay. Actually, that's all right. I've just scooched the soil towards the edges a bit and it should go in fine like that. This is really key because this is a, like just a bit smaller than what it was when I got it. And I don't know if you can see in my tattoo, but this is the pot that is in my tattoo and it all feels a bit nostalgic. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go around and fill this up a bit. So I just kind of balanced the plant roughly where it was going to go and then filled it up around the edges. I think I'm going to put a little bit more soil in because I just want to make sure it's steady and sturdy because I really don't want it falling over and coming out of the soil. I'm kind of spilling soil everywhere but I've got my paper down so it's okay. there we go I I can't believe I have come completely full circle with this plant and I have another new baby one in the pot that I first got it in um, I am gonna give this guy a big drink because this soil has been out in the Sun for a bit and it's a bit dry and these plants love a bit of water especially when they're bigger like my massive one it, um, we can just drench it for about 30 seconds and then leave it it even doesn't mind sitting in water I think it just Maybe that's why it's so big. Maybe I've given it too much water and it just flourished so much. I just wanted to take you through the journey of my money plant and my money plant tattoo and um, how much it means to me and how beautiful this looks now. I'm really happy. I will update you on the progress if that's what you want to see. And uh, I'll also let you know when the other little babies that I've got um, in water finally start to root. Okay, thank you for sticking with me through this video and um, if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.